hello guys welcome back to the channel once again don't forget to hit on the subscribe button for more educative videos like this so with that much i do let's get into photoshop so we'll get something started so here in photoshop to create a new document you only hit on ctrl n on your keyboard and then over here i'm leaving my weight to 10 my height to 11 and then i'm leaving my resolution to 300 pixels per inches and also over here i'm leaving the paper size into what inches and then i'll hit on ok something of this kind will appear on your screen and then hit on ctrl zero to fit the screen so i'll add a solid color to this workspace and i've already worked on the color code already so i'll move to my notepad and then copy it and i'll then move to my color adjustment area which is this small icon there then select my color or the solid color and then ctrl v to paste it there i'll then add a rectangle to this workspace so i'll move to my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle over here like this and then i'll be leaving the color to this you know blue or a thick blue color like this and then you know hit on v to accept the whole thing in photoshop all right S -S ctrl a select the whole document and then make sure the rectangle drawn is centered and then hit on ctrl t to enlarge the rectangle you know to fit the whole document like this and then make sure the whole thing is centered all right so right click on the rectangle drawn layer and then move to my blending options and then i'll add a shadow to the whole thing and then the opacity has been set to 98 the distance is 3 and then the spread is also set to 44 the size has also been set to 7 and then i'll hit an ok so i'll be setting my rulers you know to guide this workspace so i'll select my first ruler and then you know set it somewhere here and then you know select the second one too and then set the whole thing somewhere here so i'll move to my notepad and then add a couple of text to this particular document so i'll copy the first text and then hit on t on my keyboard and then left click at any point of the entire document you know paste the first test like this you know accept the whole thing in photoshop hit on v and then make sure the first test is moved to the top of the first rectangle drawn ctrl t to add a transformation to it or to you know decrease the size of the test okay so the church of pentacles so hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop Control a select the entire document and then make sure the text is centered and then Control d to d select i will again move to my notepad and then add the second text so Control c and then Control j to make a duplicate of the first text or the first Text and then you know drag the whole thing down like this and then hit on T left click and then control V to paste the second test as well control T to you know decrease the size to become something smaller like this okay so move the whole thing underneath the first test like this control A select the entire document and then make sure the text is also hot centered i will still move to my notepad and then we'll be adding um text again so the church of pentacles mkwanta district presents so control v and then control a and then make sure the text is also what decreased so let's move to my notepad and then make sure the present is what copied so control c and then control v to you know paste the whole thing here like this control a select the whole thing and then uncheck 
the double t here so that the text can be in lower case i'll then select the first letter and then hit on the or check the you know the tt again on the toggle character and then i'll go for a font called bernhard function bernhard function so this is the font i'll be using for the present Control t and then make sure to enlarge the whole thing to fit the entire document Control a and then i will center it as well and then Control d to d select so we still moved my notepad and then um, we'll still be adding a couple of tests today so i'll copy the district um prayer there and then make sure to hit on t to activate my test tool and then left click at any point of the document and then control v to make a paste from there control a select the whole text and then make sure to enlarge it and then make sure also to take the tt in the toggle character and then change the font from bernhard function to a font called aquamine variable but in this case i'll be going for um extra condensed extra black and then i'll make sure to close this you know pop up menu and then i will select only the prayer parts and then make sure to copy it and then delete it Control a select the entire text and then make sure to enlarge it and then set here to 44 yes or minus 44 i think will work and then hit an okay all right i set the whole thing in photoshop and then Control c and then make sure to enlarge it to so that the edges will what will touch or will meet the rulers i have set yes something of this kind is exactly what i want all right so Control j make a duplicate and then make sure to drag the whole thing downward like this and then still hit on t to activate your test to Control a make a selection and then Control v you can paste the whole thing from there Control a makes a selection and then also change here to minus 44 hit on enter Control t to make a transformation from here hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photo so i'll still move to my notepad and then be adding a couple of text again so i'll copy this and then make sure to add the whole thing to the entire document by clicking on t to activate my text tool and then Control v to paste it Control a select the text and then make sure to enlarge it also make sure to uncheck the tt in the toggle character and then here i will only select only the d part and then make sure to check the tt again on the toggle character all right i also make sure to change the font from aquamine to a font called Amelie signature or whatever i don't even know how to mention the name of this font if you can mention it just you know leave the whole thing in the comment section for me all right so Control t and make sure the whole thing is enlarged to something like this and then i will on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop all right i'll make sure to you know position the whole thing to fit the entire document like this Control j to make a duplicate and then left click drag the whole thing underneath the entire document and then make sure to make a selection hold on shift and then hit on end Control a make a selection and then make sure it is what enlarged to something like this just make sure it's enlarged to your preference okay drag the whole thing somewhere here like this and then i'll hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop i'll now right click on the district layer and then right click again move to my blending options and then 
I will add a gradient overlay to it. So guys, I have already worked on the gradient color. So this is the first color code and then this is also the second color code and then finally this is the third color code and then i'll hit on ok and then ok here as well and then over here the opacity has been set to 88 and then have reversed the whole thing and also the angle has been set to 94 scale has been set to 100 and then also i'll be adding a shadow to it all right and then the shadow too has been set to 898 as the opacity distance has been set to 3 spread 44 and then lastly the size has been set to 7 and then i'll hit on ok right click on the same layer and then i'll copy the layer style move to my prayer layer and then make sure to make a paste from the layer i have you know uh selected and then i was then moved my four days like this and then also right click on the layer and then i'll paste the layer star there and then finally i'll move to the end layer and then also i'll make a paste from here as well so i'll still move my notepad and then be adding a couple of text to this particular document so in this case i only select the fasting festival and then hit on c to activate my test tool left click at any point of the document and then paste it there Control a make a selection and then change the font from this to a font called font spring and then in this case i'll be going for alonzo extra bold regular and then i will check the tt in the turbo character hit on v to accept the whole thing in photoshop and then Control t to add a transformation or to reduce the size to fit the entire document hit on enter drag the whole thing underneath the prayer like this use my arrow keys to you know make sure the whole thing is set to the edges of the ruler i have set yes i think something of this kind is very very beautiful i will add a rectangle today so i'll move to my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle like this and then make sure to change the color from this thick blue to something red hit on v to accept the whole thing in photoshop use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this and then i'll move to my notepad and then make sure to copy this text as well Control c make a copy from there and then hit on t again just left click at any point and then Control v and then make a paste Control a make a selection and then make sure the whole thing is reduced to become something small like this all right so change the font from font spring to a font called orula and then i don't even know how this name is even pronounced guys all right so i'll hit on v accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll drag the whole thing on top of the rectangle i have drawn and then you know i'll make sure to reduce the whole thing so that it will fit the rectangle drawn take my time and then make sure to use my arrow keys to position the whole thing just like this okay so right click on the layer and then you know you can paste the layer star we have copied but in this case we don't want the gradient we only need the shadow so i'll uncheck the gradient overlay something like this is exactly what i want so i'll still be adding text again so the next thing to do is to move to my notepad again and then copy the theme of this particular program by hitting on ctrl c on your keyboard and then hit on t left click at any point of the document and then make sure you make a page from here this is too open so i'll make sure to close the whole thing up something like this and then make sure the underneath text is centered something like this all right 
control a select the entire document and then change the font from orula to a font called acrobat but in this case i'm not going to leave the whole thing in bold but i'm going to leave the whole thing in extra bold accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure to hit on t to reduce the size of the you know the text by hitting on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop i think the whole thing is too close so i'll make sure to open it up something like this Control t to make you know a transformation to fit the ruler I have set and then I'll use my arrow keys to drag the theme to you know to fit you know the entire document so I'll still move my notepad and then add a couple of text again since this flyer is made up of only text so we'll be adding text sa until we'll be done with this flyer okay so control J make a duplicate from the team and then hit on t then control a is make a selection and then paste what has been copied so i'll copy only the venue part and then make sure to hit on delete accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control c transform it to fit the ruler i have set hit on enter and then make sure to use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing up like this okay so control j again then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing down use my you know test tool and then control v to make a copy or to make a paste from what i have you know copied make a transformation and make sure the whole thing you know has been set to the ruler i have set so something of this kind is becoming more and more beautiful but in this case i will change the color of the venue to a yellow color so you can choose a color from the gradient i have set for the entire document okay so something of this kind is exactly what i want and then finally i will move to my notepad and then add the sessions for the program so i'll copy all this control c and then you know i'll just make a paste for me here something of this kind all right so control v a make to make you know a paste from that control a select the whole thing and then make sure to change the color from yellow to a whitish color or a white color guys i don't know what i'm talking about control a make a transformation to the whole thing in that case all right so i'll just hit on t again and then make sure my section is centered so i only use my space bar and then make sure my section is what centered so i only place it somewhere here and then i don't think this section is centered so i'll still move the whole thing somewhere here like this okay by accepting the whole thing in photoshop so i'll add a rectangle to the document so i'll move to my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle somewhere here and then make sure to right click on the layer to make a paste from the layer star we have copied from the beginning of the document use my arrow keys to drag the re rectangle underneath like this and then i'll move to my notepad again and then copy the prayer line so Control c copy it and then hit on t left click at any point as usual and then Control v Control a select the whole thing and then drag it on top of the what do you call it the rectangle drawn and then accept the whole thing in photoshop Control t and then make sure to reduce the whole thing like this and then hit on ok hit on v and then make sure to select the entire document and then center the prayer line ctrl d to d select 
double click on the layer and then change the color from white to this thick blue color and then also we change the font style to a font called Acura so we'll change the font from a font called Acura so we we'll only have to you know search for Acura and then accept the whole thing in Photoshop like this so where is Acura so let's go for Acura and then that select Acura and then accept the whole thing in Photoshop Control A make a selection and then make sure prayer line is centered all right so i'll move to my resources and then make sure to add the background images you guys are seeing on the thumbnail so i'll drag the first image into photoshop like this and then i'll wait for it to load and then i'll make sure to reduce the size to something like this hit on enter accept the whole thing in photoshop and then drag the image on top like this okay right click on it and then make sure to rasterize the layer and then i'll move to my blending options and then i'll set this to luminosity and also i will you know set the fill color to 50 52 percent and then add my layer mask to it hit on g to activate my gradient tool and then i'll left click on it and then go to basics and then i'll choose this one hit on ok and then i'll start you know wipe off all these places that are not necessary but in this case i will increase the opacity to 100 so that the whole thing can be you know cleared for me the way i want the whole thing and then hit on v and then i will still move to my you know resources and then come for this beautiful d copy image i have grabbed from google accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure to reduce this to something like this okay and then i'll right click on the layer rasterize it add my layer mask hit on g and then you know I will wipe off all these places that are not necessary. Go to my blending options and then set this also to luminosity. But in this case, I'm setting the fuel color to 66%. And then I'll hit on OK. Alright. So I'll accept the whole thing in Photoshop like this. And then I'll still move. To my resources and then add this beautiful lens flare to it okay so i'll drag and drop this beautiful lens flare in photoshop but in this case i'm dragging the whole lens flare on the entire or on top of the document and then right click on the layer to rasterize it and then move to my blending options and then set this to screen I'll put the first one here like this. Control T and then make sure the lens flare is reduced to something small like this and then position it somewhere here and then control J make a duplicate and then send the whole thing somewhere there as shown to you on the thumbnail. The final thing to do is to move to my rounded rectangle and then draw a very nice rounded rectangle here change the color from this thick blue to this red color and then make sure to position it very nice and then right click on the layer to paste the layer star we have you know copied but in this case i don't want the gradient but rather i want the shadow and then i only put my brand name there so i'll right click and then just type fg which means frank graphics change the color from blue to something white and then drag it on top of the rounded rectangle drawn use my arrow keys to position the whole thing very well and then also i'll make sure to reduce it to become something small like this all right so i'll make sure to you know 
leave the whole thing to become something beautiful like this all right guys so this is what i have for you today and i want to thank you all for having time for this particular educative tutorial i want to thank you all and i am out